Hello, everyone. Yes, it is me, a vision in blue. Violets are blue. That's right, Violet Trotsky. I am back yet again with style superstar Naomi Smalls. It's me, Naomi Smalls, with Violet Trotsky. <laughs> I love all these gold accents you're oh, doing. thank you. I want to dress, I don't want to be naked, but. With some gold. Yeah, naked Lovely. with some gold. Today on Runway Rewind, we are doing something so iconic. Legendary. What is that? Um, Mugler, darling. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Mugler. Oh my God, and you like just, you just met him. Oh my God, I did just meet him. <laughs> <laughs> you like he was that? incredible. He was so sweet. Yeah. I went to his exhibit, his I'm, first retrospective. I'm sure you were like a little boy screaming on the inside. Gagged. Yeah. Gagged. I love that. I mean, you definitely should go. It's in Montreal right now. Um, it's incredible. Like, <sighs> it was like it was like done in rooms. The first room I was like gagging, second room gagging, and then by the third room I was like, it was like sensory overload. Uh -huh. Like it was like my body had like shut down from like. <laughs> all the gagging <laughs> right. that I have. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come back and like re... Like there's just so many details to look at and so much to go through that it was like... The fact that they let you have your phone, that's what really blew me yeah. away. Yeah. Well, I actually brought a camera crew. I'm, I'm gonna be posting oh like a Violet Does Mugler oh, video. What? That on work. my channel. <laughs> that you should watch. Hopefully it comes out soon. Um, but yeah, so I did like a little vlog. Like I did like, I tried on my look and I got ready and did my carpet and then I... I met one of your faves actually that night. Oh my god, you met Kim K. Yeah. I stand. You I live saw for that. Her. I saw you on her story and I was like, that is amazing. Yeah, she was actually so sweet too. Yeah. And little. I stand her. Petite. Yeah. Neat and petite. Um, but I've seen you be like dorky now once, and I imagine you were probably really dorky there. I saw you be dorky because it was so cute at the Crazy Horse Show in Paris. <laughs> I think that's like the, mo the most I've ever seen you like, like geek out. Geek out, but it was so cute. It I like, love that show. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool to see. I actually am like a big element. geek. Oh, I've... but like about cool stuff, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like other geeks. So I'm, I'm not cool. like other geeks. I'm a cool geek. <laughs> um, no, it's true though. <laughs> <laughs> Mugler is a cool thing to geek. I was I was geeking out. Like I was like, oh my god, look at the paillettes. Look at the details. Look at the buckle. I mean he loves the drag queens. Mm -hmm. Like what? Well, clearly. Hello. That's what I love about Mugler. Mm -hmm. Is that he's always been like zero fucks given. Like yeah. the bet like in my opinion, like the height of fashion, the height of glamour, the height of couture. I mean, this is like Real couture, the process, everything, the construction, like everything is like the way it's supposed to be done. And it's not even like he was doing it because he's like snobby. He literally just like loves extreme extremes. He loves extremes. And you can really tell that with the casting and with the production and with everything. So it's like, this is like a special, this is a special episode of Runway really Rewind. Is. Run, way, rewind. I love it. It's a good fantasy. Fantasy, we like the fantasy. Totally, tell me a story. Tell me a story, journey, take me on a journey. Yeah, we can, everyone can see pretty close, but like, this is like a theatrical. Theatrical. Yeah. It makes sense why us drag queens of course. love it. Of course. I say let's just get right into let's it. Let's get into the show. Let's just get right into it. I think, I mean, there, it's it's better just to fucking look at it and gag than to even just talk about it, because. A picture worth a thousand words, and this is, you'll understand how iconic this is if you're not familiar with Mugler. I just love the strong, angry, powerful women. So. And these wigs. A very in vogue. Ugh. The thing that I love about him is I think it's timeless. Like, I think the Mugler woman is timeless. Like, these clothes I feel like are still relevant today. I still think people would, would wear this. I still think it would be in fashion. Absolutely. I feel like I see girls all the time Around looking like this. Yeah. It takes a real bad bitch though. I it takes like, a to... bad bitch. But this, his stuff has been on everyone's mood board for like any costume for stage wear, any kind of show costumes, modern. They're definitely gonna be referencing Mugler. I mean. Yeah, that's uh, the cool part. It's not just for like fashion shoots or for like to like look pretty on a red carpet. It's about a performance. 
I love this hair. I know, it's so right. So good. I think it was really like cow print. Ah. <sighs> the jacket. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was known for suiting. Speaking of Mugler and suits, you know who's really obsessed? Like to an annoying point? With detox. D. She is she is the Mugler woman now. She thinks she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's gonna a, come for me. She's like the Mugler executive woman. Baby, sure. she has the Mugler tattoo. She like loves, loves, loves. Mm -hmm. She's Miss Alien. She will Oh, I love the little, little cigarette, cigarette purse. purse. She'll spray that alien girl. Work. See, I love this performative, performative aspect. And she, like, that is so my tea. Mm -hmm. Her, with that big braid. Uh, and the riding crop. Like, there's always, like, a performance. I love how she's, like, <laughs> so smiley, smiley with, with crop. the fetish crop. <laughs> I live, uh, witchy woman. So, so, so. Uh, See, like, these are the photos. This is the shit that gags me. Look at all that, those lines. These are the photos. Not I, the, oh, oh, you're kidding. Gone around Tumblr. Like, yeah, for the, sure. Every, every moment from these shows has been gift. Not sunbathing on the runway. So cute. Imagine those tan lines. That'd actually be pretty fierce. That <laughs> wig. Ugh. Uh, I love when they do the props. Yeah. And I love the like twinning looks. The couples yeah, are so cute. The couple cute. looks are so cute. Like, especially because the guy's like more naked than the girl, mm -hmm. which never happens. <laughs> totally. Everyone needs a gold sequence speed up. Hello? Oh, I love. Yeah, that's very you. Okay, I need this hair. <laughs> this is your blonde look. No, like, seriously, <laughs> I need this hair. I need this skirt. It's like latex, it's like rubber, marbled rubber. Oh! Oh, that's a statement. Bitch! <laughs> Hello! I'm not into that skirt, actually. I'm not into that walk. Ooh, the Giddy leg reveal. Up. Giving me ideas. Legs over. Oh. Like <laughs> I love the menswear. He's hot. Oh, he's a he's a porn star. Ah! Uh, <sighs> yes! Work. Lucky me. Oh, I love that. I love those, like, little hip thingies. I forget what those kind of pants are. Mm-hmm. So good. It's just so good. I know. Like if I had a nine to five job, which I would never oh, have. Oh, pumping into the office in this? Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Like, where the fuck's my coffee? Ugh, rubber, bitch. Oh, it's so hot. So good. I mean, I'm just like, these clothes are still so relevant. Also the models are so good. Like they're really performative. Mm -hmm. As for the Mugler shows, I was always so curious if there was like a dress rehearsal. There's gotta be. They seem like they, like they're they're there oh, to perform. There's definitely a dress rehearsal. Okay, oh. school girl. Yes, sci-fi. I love like the illusion of the high panty. Yeah, I'm into this like low in the front, high in the high in the back situation too. Okay, I'm not into this rope skirt though. <laughs> uh, maybe I am. Like if it was like part of like a like a like ship, yeah, yes, bondage <laughs> queens. But I mean, so it's a Western theme. This whole show is Western. Oh, the rope skirt. That makes sense. Yeah. I guess. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Like latex fetish cowboy, fetish cowgirl. Ooh, oh my God, the cock destroyers. Ah. <laughs> Those are the cock destroyers. <laughs> what are we? I love them. I know you I'm do. Obsessed. I know you do. Obsessed. Sunday is supposed to be a day of rest. Not for me. <laughs> Every time I have to go to the meet and greet. <laughs> Drag is supposed to be fun, but not for me. <laughs> I wanted to be a star. Hello. <laughs> Ta-da. I love the hair. Yeah, like the hair inspo. So real. Okay. Camp. That is cute. So cute though. Is it paper? Interesting. I'm also here for like a fetish cowboy boot. I know, those are so cute. I feel like those um like uh, heeled cowboy boots are really coming in style again. I love that hair. I'm gonna have to have that That's hair. That's you. That's a drag queen. Yeah, costume. and those tights are so cute too. Mm -hmm. 
good. I'm so into like the 90s men grooming, like no beard, middle part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no beard. What I love concept. the no beard. When is that coming back? <laughs> when? You don't like a beard. I just think it's like, I think if you're truly handsome, like you are truly handsome and you don't need to like hide your face. You know what I mean? Like these men, you know what I mean? They say that beards are like There's ma something. male makeup. Yeah, it's like male makeup. For it's sure. fine. But like, I don't know. There's something so handsome about like a, a dapper, a dapper man, like aftershave. I don't it's know. Very, it's very bold. It's very bold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think it should come back in style. Oh my God, work. Is that Lady Kier? No. Yes. No. Is that her? It is Lady Kier. Gag. Ugh. Fierce. Ugh, I'm obsessed. I live for her. I don't know why it's like chopped up like this. <gasps> Diane Brill! Oh, wow. I live. Oh my god, drag. Like May West, Western way, May West. Velour. The, like, I love that gown, that shape, and how she has to like hobble. I love the holster like off. Like, oh, that's just too big for me. Oh, uh, uh, getting a reveal? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know I love a reveal. So many reveals. I'd be like freaking the fuck out. I love. It's so us. Uh -huh. I, mean, <laughs> like, I love the spin with the runway. Yeah, the spin needs to come back. It really does. I, it, I think, I don't know if they can, if they're capable of doing it. I'm anymore. walking the runway coming up soon. And oh, ooh. I think I should do a spin. Just do it. Like fuck everyone else, right? Absolutely. What are they gonna say after? Probably that was amazing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like one of those things that you freak out about because you're like, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know yeah. if I should do it. Oh, it's just do it, right? Absolutely. Do it and apologize later. That's like the golden rule for everything. That's something I didn't realize until I like, I feel like got 23, 24. I was like, oh, I can just kind of do whatever the hell I want. Yeah. That's like literally how I got here. As long as you're not hurting anybody. Within reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Like when there are like stupid rules in place. Mm hmm And you spook it. This direction, they got like a biker. I also love this like giant bun on her head. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the flames. Oh, oh wow, this one's so iconic. Wow, I love the beer can like holster mm -hmm. garter. Just pure trash. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Uh, checking the lips. Check your lipstick before you come for me. Oh, lipstick. and oh. there's Connie girl in the red. We didn't see it. Wow. So much embellishment. Gag. <sighs> Isn't it kind of like sad that those clothes are just sitting somewhere? Somewhere in a storage dust. unit. I know. Hopefully temperature controlled. They need to be on stage. Well, at least some of them are on display now. I think the con that red one that Connie girl is wearing is on display. Work. In the retrospective. Yeah, I mean, it's just overwhelmingly good. I know. The things that I've ever was like stand out, I don't necessarily dislike. I just don't like compared to the one before. Exactly. There's just everything was good. There was like maybe like one that I didn't like. Right. But everything else, absolutely wearable. Yeah, that was a good like, collection. Completely fuck with. Love. I don't even, there's just like no words. Like that's just, that's like so me. Like, so my vibe. Unapologetic. Unapologetic, dominant, confident, severe, glamorous, sickening, rich. And not afraid of like risks. Yeah. With costumes. Ballsy. Yeah, absolutely. That's and likes reveals also. That's the movie. Queen of reveals. <laughs> Queen of reveals. <laughs> Queen of reveals. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'd want to, I love the couple look. I don't know if I would necessarily want to, I don't, like worry about somebody else when I'm going down the runway. Oh. You know, you can never trust like anybody else except for yourself. At the end of the day, you are the strongest person that you know. The couple look is hard. Yeah. I had to do it for Moschino. Oh, and you guys were attached. Attached. Wow, how was that? It was hard. We're both walking at different paces. Our legs are different lengths. Right. I'm sure you know all about that. I know, you're like explaining like walking with kimchi like down the street to Starbucks. 
literally. <laughs> Girl, don't try to plug Starbucks. I'm gonna get your Starbucks plug in my video. I know you're a fucking ambassador now. And this actually brings me to, have you tried the new mango dragon fruit <laughs> <laughs> refresher? <laughs> no, not until Starbucks gives you my coin. I've had it. I dressed as a caramel macchiato today. Girl, bye! <laughs> <laughs> well, caramel macchiato fantasy. Yes. Thank you so much you for are being so on my channel, so coming, welcome. being so fabulous, such a fashion icon. Oh, thank you. Legend. Thank you. I'll take it. I, I'm honored to be called that from you. And I feel like Love you, bye. I have to like squeeze this in somehow that life's not fair. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> like the best catchphrase ever. Thanks. Ew, Michelle is up there though. Ooh, Michelle is ew, for sure. Michelle. Like, ooh, Michelle. Wait, wait, wait no, no, my favorite. Nobody says that, but, but okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all of the good stuff. And remember. <gasps> You, you could, could never! never. <laughs>